it that time again and you know what that time is it's another art snack box now um to tell you the truth um i've already opened this up so because it's very light and that's how i was able to i have no idea what i'm doing for this intro now if you remember from the, my um, very first art snack video that i did I mentioned that I had, like, you know, had to, like, cancel the description on this box. Well, that is still true. I still, that subscription is still canceled. This is the second box that I received before my subscription canceled. But, but, that big but. But, since I got a second box, I could do another one of these episodes. Yay! And, spoiler alert, I like this one much better than I did with the first one. So let's go ahead and open this box, even though it's already open, and get all the art supplies that we need. Let's go. So before we get to the waters, I need to remind you that Graveyard Loon and Mario Elizabeth had this really cool editing style that I really like, and I wanted to base my own editing style on them as well. Anyways, time to bring out the good old box full of art supplies. With blocked out address on the front, my privacy is my top priority. And since I've already opened this box long before I started recording this video, let's go ahead and just pretend I didn't open this box and see what's inside for the very first time. The bubble wrap has a turn! But I still can't pop them as I gently remove every single item within the box here. Well, don't need this box anymore. Check out all of the items that we've gotten in this box. Also, this sketchbook looks familiar, just a little bit different from the last one. Looking inside, the paper feels really nice. What of that? Time to look at the other item that came with the box. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, nice. Love the unzip of that bag. Can we see it again? Very nice. Again? And again? Just one more time, please. Oh, fine. Again! Oh, how nice everything slide out of the bag and oh my god, is that a freaking bubble gum? The disgusting kind. Let's face it, nobody really liked these type of bubble gum in the first place. I'm just going to get rid of that. So let's go ahead and grab out our first art supplies, which I recognize this type of ink. I have one of these, although mine is a black color. This one is a toxic waste green color. Ah! I should have done a toxic waste artwork! Why didn't I do that? Too late now. Let's move on to the next art supply. If I could get it out of the small bag it came in. This ink is a blue color, a deep blue oceanic kind of color. Next is the washi tape that came with it as well. I don't use this at all for the final artwork. I'm just going to add that to my washi tape collection, which is only like a few in my collection. It's nice. It, it's nice and all. Next up is these watercolor paint marker from the Faber-Cascal line. I'm no stranger to using Faber-Cascal product. I use them many times, even though I don't really use them much, but I do use them. They look really pretty and they're also metallic. And there are three colors of them. A red, blue, and a green color. But we need to move on. Let's move on to this mysterious bag here. Let's see what's inside. And this, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary pal, is my favorite product of all time. And I'm talking about the red ink brush. Forget about the green brush next to it. Also, the sticker's cute as well. Add that to my sticker hoard, please. I need to look at this brand new ink brush I got in. Oh, we need to look at this first. Oh, I don't mind it. It looks like any other watercolor brush. Not these watercolor pens. 
a regular watercolor blending pen. One thing I did like about this brush is that the, br the push button here. The one thing I don't like about it is the needle pushing thingy here. I'm having a brain fart here, guys. Give me a break. I can't remember the name. Hopefully it should come to me at any moment now. No? Okay. Now it's time to look at this beautiful brush here. I'm in love. This brush has to be my favorite out of everything I got in this kit. And I know I could get more of these brushes if I run out of ink in the future. So now I'm just looking through the notes cards. Every single information about these items. Let's just get that part of the video. Now that I have everything in order here, I think it's time to end the video here. Right, right. Can't keep doing the same joke over and over. People will get bored and will eventually leave my video forever and then will come back. Nobody will watch my video ever again. And oh, it's time to uh, actually test the art supply out. I can't wait to test out my baby. This up are these watercolor marker pens. So I went ahead and added the three marker pens to the sketchbook and then I brushed water against them. They're fine, but they'll do great without me drawing on the paper. You'll see what I mean later. Next up is the green toxic colored uh, ink that I am testing out. And it's exactly what it's supposed to be. Then the blue, which is also a very pretty color. Now it's time for the red ink brush pen. I'm in love. I think we already know that. I just love how smooth this ink brush pen is. Whatever you want to call it. It kind of looks like blood. Next up is for me to pull out my sketchbook from the previous art snack video. Huh. What's going on? Why did we travel back in time for the first art snack video? There's a reason for this. So I grabbed out the sketchbook from the first snack video uh, that I wanted to sketch out what the creature was going to look like. Also the fact that I didn't know how the artwork was going to look like, so that, the, the reason why I brought the sketchbook out. But despite my effort of sketching it out, it didn't really even kind of turn out how I wanted it. A bit of a spoiler for later on the video. But you can't really see what I'm doing my, since my head is in the frame for the majority of this bit. But you guys aren't really missing anything. All I was doing in this part is to figure out the things out at the time. But once we peg it past that part, my head is in frame for a bit before my head is out of the way for the rest of this part. So I'm just sketching out what the character looks like, but the final drawing doesn't have the full body. So this is the only time you get to see the full body of this creature. So I start off using my mechanical pencil first of all, then I moved to using my colored pencil for the rest of the sketching part. I didn't have my needed eraser, so I just used my eraser and lightly erased this part. Then I used my color blue color pencil that I have for the rest of the figure. Maybe I should have mentioned that first before mentioning the eraser. So, vice versa. I used a blue color pencil to sketch out the detail of the character, really bringing this artwork to life here. I really enjoyed this part. Now I did start using my other pencil to bring out those details even more, but I didn't record the rest of that part, so you won't be able to see the rest of that. But, but here is the final sketch of what that creature is supposed to look like. Ignore that part. My head is going to be in the way for a while, maybe for the rest of the video, but you guys can still see my artwork. But I will mention it, I did rearrange my camera setting, so I don't know if it be next week video, but a few video after next week, or whatever video after that, my camera setting should be different, so hopefully my head will be out of the way for the majority of my adventures here, I guess that's how we're gonna call it. Anyways, I started off with sketching up the basic of drawing before moving on to the detail of the creature. Now I didn't really want this to look like, well, how it looked like right now. I wish I went back and fixed the position of how the creature was coming in and maybe changed the background a bit. But it's too late now. Can't go back and change that now. But I did actually kind of reimagine this piece. And I will show it a brief um, artwork of that. Boom. On screen. And it's gone. Well, let's move on. I went ahead and added the detail for the creature now. Of which I'm calling the forest demon. That's the name of the creature. That's what I'm going to go with. And finally, once the detail is done, I went ahead and colored the background. Instead of adding the line art, I find it way easier to add in the color with watercolor first before adding the line art because there is a few factor in that and I don't really want to go ahead into all of that but let's just say that some ink will smear with water because of the water base and I don't really want to risk it 
so let's just go with that. Now you probably already noticed that I've already added another color that wasn't in the kit. I added black to the background, which I think was a good idea. Not sure, but we're just gonna stick with that. Now I don't really like the color that I picked for this guy. Well, they were the well, they were the only color that I had that came from the kit. But I kind of wish I did something a little bit more with the colors, but it's too late now. I finished the background now. Now it's time to work on the creature itself. I used the red metallic markers to add in the shading to the creature. Now that I did that, or well, not just the shading to the creature, I did it for the skull and the horns on top of the forest demon. And then I used the blue to add in shading to the fur and probably to the rest of the body. Now for the uh, marker, I just uh, added the marker into a paint palette and put water on it. That's how they would get the look without actually using the marker on the paper. Worked way better than that. Then once I finished the shading with the blue and the red, and I think I also used, I don't know if I used the green metallic of marker pen and the blue, I don't remember. But once I finished with everything else, I finally time for me to use the red ink. And I just added red to the creature's face, body, I just had fun with this. Finally, everything is done, and it's time for the final montage of this guy. So let's go ahead and see the final result. might look familiar no this is a new sketchbook and you want to know what's inside uh, the uh final result even though i can't really see it you'll see it like um for my epic duh my epic thing i guess if you want to call it that but yeah this is the final result of this i like this way better than the first one now of course i will admit that i do like the first one still is still my favorite but there's something about this that make it make it special, I guess. But that'll be it for me for this video, guys. If you want to check out this video, don't forget to check this out. This is from last week. And don't forget to check out this video right over here. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, Dragon! Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer.